Now, one of the things that I think is important, and I've heard the story from several different places, a young person applies for a job. The person looks at him and says, you look like you might have some agricultural or small community involvement. Yes, I have. Were you in 4-H? Yes. When do you want to start? Right now, we're at the Calgary Stampede Grounds for 4-H on Parade. We're in Calgary, Alberta, just south of the Williams Farm, and we're a stone's throw from the Rocky Mountains. 4-H is one of the best things that a kid can do. For the kids, they get work ethic. It just makes me feel more mature because you're taking care of your own animals. When I'm at the 4-H, I'm in awe. Uh, this is the first year I have not been done seeding prior to a 4-H on parade event. I'm sure that inside he's just wondering how things are going back at the farm. Because of technology and the app, the John Deere app, he doesn't need to be there. I have logged into my John Deere just to kind of see how a couple things are going. We had a couple of issues arise, so I logged in and, and was able to have a look. I did have one issue with the drill and I was talking to Lander. Uh, he pulled up a map for me and we were able to fix the issues that we were having. If he didn't trust those guys and the technology, there's no way that he would leave them. So it's nice seeing him relax. Larry's use of technology certainly allows him to be able to take time away from what right now is a critical time, seeding. The confidence in all this technology it's taken a pretty good load off my plate, for sure. How heavy is your lamb? 122 pounds. What's your breed type behind him? Uh, Charlet. When I put my hand on him here, he's nice and flat compared to the lambs I've placed above you today. Good job. Our grand champion for the market lamb Class division is 301 Paige Williams from Airdrie. I got Grand Champion Market Lamb. You've done a great job. Here. Thank you. And then I got Reserve Champion Pen of Three. Our Reserve Grand Champion Pen of Three is 103 Trace Williams from Airdrie. Congratulations. I'm so proud of these kids. They they put in the work. All this hard work that they put into it. It does pay off. Having that capability to see how my seating is progressing, it allowed me to be down here with my family. Words can't even explain how I feel. Morning, sir. How are we doing? Good day in paradise. All right, how are you, Mr. Trace? Good to you. Good. What's the plan? Well, I'd like to go look at some wheat and we'll uh, look at some barley that's down there as well and we'll finish off in the peas. Step out and go have a boo. Yeah, let's have a look, see what's happening. So Al, what do you, what do you think all in all here of what we're seeing? Crops coming along. You know what? Your flag's clean, relatively clean. You've got some fill going. We're doing good. I mean, it's been wet for a long time. It could be a heck of a lot worse. Yeah. yeah. Remember, we had we had that that issue that we caught where we weren't seeding on one section. So Lander had me on on my field analyzer. We walked right to the spot, and we started like where we saw an issue, and we started. Playing, playing the game backwards. And then you were confirming it as you were out scouting the fields. Plant counts on and on and on. That's yeah. right. So we corrected the problem. We found out there was a humidity issue, but it was so nice to, you know, look at it on a technology side and have it confirmed. Verify it. You know, by an agronomy side. Yeah. It, uh, it's, it's proven to be a valuable, a valuable asset. It's real hard data. It's time stamped, it's date stamped. You know what it is, here it is. Versus, you know, 
I'm ready to down on a piece of paper and you know, that was, oh, I think I did that a day later, you know, or maybe even an hour later, right? And they can go back in time too if you're gonna go look at weather maps and correspond it. Yeah. Or you have a wreck in the field, what happened, why? That's right, yeah. exactly. It's gonna help me base my decision on next year yeah. on what's gonna happen, right? And if something, there's an anomaly here, what's the why? Yeah. Why did it do what it did? Exactly. Yeah. I don't know, what do you think? What do you think we got some potential here for? Get it in the bin before you start counting your chickens. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm agree with that, but <laughs> I just gotta have some dreams somewhere along the line.